Yo, what's going on guys? It's more power. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully guys are having a powerful day today um, We're gonna be doing another video where I'm just gonna sit here and talk to you guys about some things um, Today it's gonna be it's gonna start out not so good But I'm gonna offer up some solutions at the end of this video So that uh, we can have a better understanding of what needs to happen So that we can have a better experience playing Call of Duty. So let's go ahead and get right on into the video Alrighty, to start this video, guys, I just want to talk about um, the inadequacies that I feel like we are suffering through in Black Ops 4. And what I mean by that, we're going to have to start at the beginning of the life cycle. So, even before the game released, when they were hyping up the game, when we were finding out that they were taking away our traditional story mode or campaign mode and giving us an immersive battle royale experience that I was super excited because I love battle royale games and I would love to see Call of Duty's take on the the, the genre um, if, if you can call it a genre so we got hyped for that I got hyped for, you know, I always get hyped for Call of Duty Black Ops multiplayer. I love Treyarch games. I love Call of Duty games. I love Black Ops games. Like, I started playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I came back to the community with Black Ops 3. And I was super excited for this game. And then they tell us that we were getting more content over time than we would have in a normal Call of Duty cycle. They were reworking the downloadable content cycle that we were getting instead of four map packs over a three to four month interval. And they didn't specify, you know, how many maps we were going to get in how many months, but we figured it was going to be more game or more maps over a shorter period of time which was good in theory now let's fast forward to today today is march 23rd 2019 and i'm recording this video or this audio portion of this video at 3 31 p.m this is one week before the current operation which is operation grand heist ends we have four dlc maps we are six months into the life cycle of Black Ops 4. We're getting ready to start the hype train for the next Call of Duty game, and we only have four new maps. But you say, but you say, Morton Power, we have all these weather condition maps. That's 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 irrelevant. Those are maps that we got at launch with different weather conditions. They're the same map. There was no extra effort put into these maps. They just decided to change the weather conditions. That's all they did. I mean, brand new maps. A brand new multiplayer map experience that we have not gotten. And you'll also say, oh, but we got, you know, four remastered maps. But we got those at launch. And they're remastered maps. Plain and simple. It's not new content. It's refurbished content. Now, we've also gotten new weapons that are only available for a certain period of time and you have to grind for them. Some people have jobs that can't spend eight to 10 hours a day grinding a game to get these new weapons cosmetics a lot of the really good cosmetics you have to grind for and don't get me wrong I love that we can grind for those those um, those cosmetics and those weapons and you don't have to pay for them but I'm getting I'm getting off track it's it's to the point where we have less content six months into the game than we did this time last year in World War II. 
at least last year in World War II, by this time, we had eight new multiplayer maps. And I believe we had new weapons, too. Treyarch and Activision did get one thing right. This is the most content that we've gotten in a Black Ops game. Not new content. Don't don't get me wrong. Not new content. We've gotten the most refurbished content that I've probably seen in any Call of Duty game ever. Now, we have six months left in the life cycle of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, granted, the player base is going to start dwindling because we're going to start getting the new the hype for the new game which that's a video for another day that I'm going to cover but I just feel as though we are being ripped off by this new black ops pass system unless we get 12 new maps a bunch of new additions to black and let me let me let me tell you this they're putting more effort into blackout than they are multiplayer and trust me they did not need to put too much effort into blackout players would have played blackout but you're you're alienating other aspects of your game so that you can make your battle royale experience the best out there out of all the BR experiences, you want it to be the best. If that was the case, you should have made Blackout a standalone game. Should have even made Black Ops 4. You should have just made it Call of Duty Blackout and just made the game a battle royale game. No multiplayer, no zombies. But you can't leave those out. I'm just, just, I'm just saying. You're putting more focus into Blackout. And I know the Blackout team doesn't work on multiplayer. And they don't work on zombies. But everything is suffering so that you can make one amazing Blackout experience. And it's not even the best Blackout experience. Fortnite still has the best Blackout experience. And I'll get to that in another video as well. So, new weapons. We... Yes, we have to grind for those new weapons. But in Black Ops, or in Call of Duty, you should be rewarding the people that are that love your game enough to spend extra money, because we didn't have to spend the extra $60 to get Black Ops 4 to get the Black Ops Pass. You had people that spent extra money to get this game and we can't get we can't have unlockable weapons due to that come with the black ops pass it, it seems it seems ridiculous that they're that they're saying we're getting all this content with the black ops pass but how how are we supposed to earn you know we should be getting and I, I feel I may sound like I feel entitled. But there should be a little bit of entitlement that comes with paying an additional $60 on top of $60 that you pay for the game. Come on now, people. It's simple math. At this point, I'm going to purchase whatever Call of Duty 2019 is, the base game. The base game. And wait to see what we get with the Black Ops Pass because I feel like I got scammed. I feel sorry for the other people that bought the Black Ops Pass or bought the special editions of the game because we're not getting anything. I will not pre-order the game either. Let's let's talk about pre-orders now. What were the pre-order bonuses for Call of Duty Black Ops 4? All I got was a Mastercraft weapon. A pistol at that for the pre-order of the game now when with the addition of the game that I bought I ended up getting an MX-9 Mastercraft but that's not a pre-order bonus and I believe there was a drawstring bag that you got it um, that you got at GameStop but also you don't send out enough 
product for your pre-order bonuses that everybody that pre-orders it can get it. I show up to get the pre-order bonus for, you know, the physical pre-order bonus. Oh, I'm sorry. That was a limited edition. It was first come, first serve. Like, really? But let me offer some... Let me offer some close. solutions. Up and let's go home. Because I don't want this the video to be like a full rant. I want... I don't want to talk about the bad things without talking about how we can do things better. Let's start with the developer side. If you're going to say that we're going to get more content than ever before, give us the content. We're six months into the game and we have less content than we did last year. When we buy the Black Ops Pass, give us a detailed rundown of how this how this DLC cycle is gonna work. Every two months, we should get a new a new map pack. Two maps, a new gun, a new blackout character every two months. That's what we should do. But you can't sit there and change things Domination. and not change them. Secure the objective. The next thing you need to do as a developer is hold up to your promises. You said we were getting new content. Give us the new content. Let's show us the new content. Take an alpha. You said we were going to get certain game modes in these operations. You said we were going to get new weapons in these operations. Give us the weapons. Tell us we have the advantage. when you release a new season. Let us know what you're going to do so that we can look forward to it. Tell us, for the first two weeks, we're going to get a new game mode. And we're losing the fight. this is what the new game mode is going to be infected for, for one. Just say that's what the new game mode is going to be. Let us know what we're getting ourselves into. Enemy deleted. Because right now we're just paying for something that we don't know what we're getting. We're actually paying a, for a bad business model. You don't go to a grocery store and buy a box with no markings on it and say, oh, this is groceries for the week. But you don't know what groceries are in that box. We don't know what we're Obsolete. getting. Tell us what we're going to get so that we can have an expectancy of what we're going to get. Lastly, for the development team, Security. listen to your community. Your community is what makes your game successful. A. You don't listen to your community. You're alienating the people that make you your money. Plain and simple. <laughs> now let's talk about things that solutions that we can do as the community. We need to speak up. Not in a harsh way not in a violent way but we need to speak up we need to let them know that we're frustrated that we want this game to succeed we need to let them we need them to hear we need th for them to be accountable that's the next thing we need to keep them accountable for the promises that they make this is what they do. They pro they make all these promises, blind promises that might you add, or might I add, at the beginning of a life cycle so that you'll buy the game, buy the Black Ops Pass, buy everything, and then that's where they make the majority of their money, is through sales of the game. And they give Probably you content grenade. within the first four to six months of the game, and then it and then it goes downhill from there. So we need to keep these guys accountable for the promises that they made. But honestly, guys, I don't know what more what else I can what else I can say. I love Call of Duty. That's why I'm making this video. I want Call of Duty to succeed. I want Call of Duty to last as long as it possibly can. It pains me to see Call of Duty going down this route. Where all they care about is 
like making money because that seems like what it is with all these microtransactions and such they're trying to bleed out as much money as they can from the game when we're gonna we're gonna do another video on the business model of comparing business models of video games but Enemy snipers nest that's gonna i'm gonna stop ranting i wanted to give you guys some solutions on top of the things that i felt were wrong with the game but thank you guys so much for listening to me talk if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you didn't enjoy the video leave a thumbs down so i know where to improve my content also comment on the video if you think i'm right if you have anything else to add on to it comment in the comment section that's what the comment section is for to communicate with me and help me you know let's build these ideas together Enemy but thank UAV you guys above. so much for watching also leave a comment in the comment section thanking shady uh, for editing the videos for me all the videos that you see here on the channel minus the vlogs shady edits so let's give a big thank you to him in the comment section and hopefully with call of duty 2019 we can get a better we can have a better relationship with between the community and the development team that's gonna do it i'm gonna go ahead and end. i'm gonna stop talking see you guys on the next video have a great afternoon and uh yeah just enjoy yourself